Hello there YouTubers and fellow Google Earth users. I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Google Earth Network Links option in conjunction with Google Drive. Hopefully this will make using Google Earth a little bit more efficient anytime you want to share your files with others, especially if you want to continue to update those files. Currently I have Google Earth open. I have navigated to a location that I like to go fishing called Tony Grove Lake and I have created two place marks, one called Lake, another one called Parking, and I've placed those within a folder under the My Places file in the Places palette. What we would normally do is take the folder, right click on it, go to Save Places As, and we would create a file that is a .kmz that we might want to share with somebody else. So in this case, I'll just leave it named the lake and hit save. But instead of sharing this file with others, we want to upload this file to Google Drive so that we can periodically make updates to it and re-upload and create new versions of this file and have it automatically accessible to our users. So let's open a web browser, go to Google Drive. Here I'm in a folder called Network Links within another folder called Google Earth that I've created in my Google Drive folder and I'm going to click on New, File Upload, grab the file we just created, and click Open. Once that's done uploading, we can right-click on the file, click the Share option, click Get Shareable Link in the top right-hand corner of the box that opens, and here we want to make sure it says anyone with the link can view. Click Copy, we're going to take this link we just created and we're going to temporarily store it in the URL bar of our new tab we just opened in our browser. Here on Lifehacker, there's an example of how to convert the link we just grabbed from Google Drive to a direct download link. If we use the original link for our network file in Google Earth, it will not work. So what we need to do is just as in their example here, we need to find the text in the middle of the URL that is between two forward slashes. This random text represents the file ID for the file we just uploaded to Google Drive. There are two examples of the URLs down here. The top one here is similar to the one we just grabbed from Google Drive. The file ID being represented right here as the string of characters from our link and we need to move that string down here to this location on this URL. This URL is universal, can be used over and over again. We will copy it right up until we get to the file ID. So I'm going to click Command C on my Mac or it's Control C on Windows. Copy this text, open a new tab and paste this text. We're going to go to the previous tab we opened where we placed our network link temporarily. We're going to find our file ID between the two forward slashes right in the middle of this URL. We're going to copy that, go back to this link on our other tab, and at the end after the equal sign we're going to paste our file ID. We're now going to highlight this entire link and this will be the link we use within Google Earth. Going back to Google Earth, we're going to highlight My Places, right click, click Add, and Network Link. We're going to name this Lake-Link. And in the link field, we will paste our new link and click OK. It actually just populated a new item in the Places palette on the left hand side of Google Earth called the lake-link and the icon created a little green light bulb. This effectively tells us that the link was good and the file was successfully downloaded. When downloading it bounces from side to side and is a yellow color. If the link fails it turns to a red color. If we turn down the little triangle next to it we can see it contains the same folder and places that we put into the original file above. Now what we want to do is we want to right click on this new link folder, go to save place as, 
and this will be the KMZ that we want to share with others who we want to give this information to, especially when they want updates. So we will save this file, go to our Finder window, and this is the file that we will email to our friends, family, or anybody else that we will be sharing our updates with. They will need to open this file in Google Earth, and anytime they open it in the future, it will have the new updates that you've added to the original file called the lake.kmz. So let's go make some changes. Back here in Google Earth, we can remove this new link that we just created. I'll delete that. And in this folder, let's update the name of lake to Tony Grove Lake. And let's add a path in the lake. We'll say that this is a trail that goes around the lake like so. And we'll name it trail. Now we're going to right click on the lake again, go to save place as, leave the file name the same as before, the lake.kmz, and click save. It's going to ask if we want to replace, and we do, so we will click replace. Now going back to our browser, going back to Google Drive, we are done with sharing, so we'll click done. We'll go back to new, File Upload, and we'll choose the same file as before, only this is the new version. And we'll click Open. In the bottom right hand corner you can see that Google Drive has now successfully uploaded the file again, but it is now titled version 2. You can revert to a previous version if necessary, which is beneficial, but the file here that has now been updated contains the same file ID and the link we created before is still usable. Going back to Google Earth, we can actually either remove this file, but in our case, we're just going to disable it. So we'll uncheck the box here. We're going to go to our Finder window, and we're going to open our link KMZ file. I'm going to double click it. It'll open in Google Earth. Currently, the file name didn't update, and the trail didn't update either. However, if we right click on this link, and we click Refresh, we can see that the name of the lake is updated and the trail place mark has been added. So that's how you make updates to your file and make them automatically update to your users with the shared link file that you have uploaded to Google Drive and your users will get all of the updates that you create in the future without having to get the new file. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Give us a thumbs up if this was useful for you, and we hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day.